Bloomberg understands that the average American is concerned about inflation. You know, you got all these corporations that are arbitrarily raising their prices to increase their profits, and they're exploiting, in many cases, the inflation narrative that's been covered incessantly on the news. But that's not how Bloomberg decided to handle this story. In fact, an op ed written by Teresa Ghilarducci who's an economist and American labor scholar, wants to offer advice on how you can cut back. You know, let's not go after the 1% engaging in profiteering here. Maybe you should reconsider whether you wanna keep that pet of yours. And I'm not even kidding, that was a suggestion. So she starts off her piece by saying, if your income is more than $289,000 a year, uh, let's just stop already. Um, mm. Chances are your income is not that much. Only 1.6% of Americans make that much. But anyway, let's continue. If your income is more than $289,000 a year, the run up in gas prices may be alarming. But it's unlikely to hammer your overall finances. After all, Americans at that level spend no more than 1% of their take home pay on gas and oil, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So only 1.6%, she should have mentioned that. For those earning much less, it's a different story. Well, thank you, Teresa, thank you. She goes on to say that you know, if you wanna deal with the gas prices, maybe you should change your lifestyle a little bit. To deal with gas prices, it's worth reconsidering public transportation if it's an option where you live. Fares are up 8% compared with 38% for gasoline. Now may be the time to sell your car. It certainly isn't the time to buy a new or used one. Look, that suggestion, I guess, is fine. If you live in Los Angeles, though, I'm just gonna keep it real. Public transportation is insanely dangerous right now. It It just is, progressives wanna deny it. I'm sorry, uh, stop trying to cover up what the reality is. You have people getting attacked on public transportation literally every day. Yep. Uh, So maybe we address that, Uh, but she then gets into other, I think, unrealistic things without talking about what's causing the inflation in the first place, right? So it's like, You guys are all being screwed over by the profiteering, but it's okay, let's just ignore that. And you should change your lifestyle habits. We'll get to more details in a second, but Ida, I wanted to get your thoughts. Um, You know what, the the public transportation system is very dangerous here, also all over the place. Even in New York, a woman got thrown into the train, one woman got stabbed, one woman had feces smothered all over her face. So let's just just be real about that. So I second that because we, we live in this, fairy tale of foolishness and people are suffering. But you know, I I wanna know how much money she makes. Mm-hmm. I wanna know how much money she makes from what perspective is she coming from? Because I know I've, I've had to live on lentils. Mm-hmm. You know, I grew up, my mom was, it was lentils or chickpeas. Like she would, the the, the beans every day was, a, or legumes was a, what every day, that's how we survived with rice because we were poor. But the reality is, is what what you're saying, the constant accusation to the American person and the person globally that the atrocities of the world is on them. Global warming, go get, recycle your stuff, get a better car. Instead of addressing these corporations that are doing all of these egregious acts that are not only destroying the environment, but life. It's just, it's. I'm tired of this. Yeah, definitely. I mean. They're again, arbitrarily increasing their prices because they can Mm -hmm. with absolutely no pushback. And the reason why there's no pushback is because people like Teresa just enable this narrative that it's not about the corporate world. It's not about profiteering, it's about your behavior. And it's, she writes, when it comes to food, don't be afraid to explore. Though your palate may not be used to it, tasty meat substitutes include vegetables, where prices are up just over 4% or lentils and beans, which are up about 9%. Which, but like that also. It's just, you know, it pisses me off because it, there are some people that are conspiracy theorists. There are people who believe like they're preparing us for this new world order. They're gonna enslave the people again. That's what this kind of stuff sounds like. Like yeah. preparing you, preparing the people for a life of struggle and just, 
Just take it, yeah. sit down and take it. Yeah. Here's the worst example she gave, by the way. If you're one of the many Americans who became a new pet owner during the pandemic, you might wanna rethink those costly pet medical needs. It may sound harsh, but researchers actually don't recommend pet chemotherapy, which can cost up to $10,000 for ethical reasons. What, what is that example? First of all, if my dog needed chemotherapy, I would do anything and everything. I know. I would panhandle, I don't care. My pet, like it's a family member for me, brings an extreme amount of joy and happiness to my life. And I know a lot of other pet owners agree with their pets. But like that example was so weird. Like don't pay for the pet chemo, the dog chemotherapy. Like just shut up, yeah. this is not good advice, all right? It's tone deaf, it's privileged, it's uh, insensitive. Yeah. And it is downright disrespectful to people who show up every day and go for go to work and bust their asses and still can't make ends meet because all of these super rich people who are at the top keep their feet or that foot, that proverbial foot on their necks. Exactly. So sit yourself down and stop talking on behalf and stop talking to the people. I'm tired of privilege addressing the everyday person. I know. I know. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.